How do you solve a division problem involving fractions when the quotient has something left over? In this lesson, you will learn to divide a fraction by a fraction and represent any leftover pieces or remainders by thinking about equal groups. Let's review. You already know that division means to take a whole amount and divide the whole into equal parts or pieces. You also know how to solve many division problems involving fractions. You can divide whole numbers by fractions. You can divide fractions by whole numbers. And you can also divide fractions by fractions. Often, when you divide fractions by fractions, you come out with a whole number quotient. In this example, we see a division problem where both the dividend and the divisor are fractions, and the quotient comes out evenly. When a number is divisible by another number, the quotient comes out even. In other words, it will not have a remainder. In this lesson, we will be working with problems that do not divide evenly. Our answers will result in some kind of a leftover piece or remainder. A common mistake that many people make is to think that dividing a number always leads to an answer that is smaller than the number being divided. When you're working with fractions, this is not always the case. One way that you can estimate to see if your answer is reasonable is remember that if your dividend is less than your divisor, then your quotient will be less than 1. If your dividend is greater than your divisor, your quotient will be greater than 1. Let's try a problem, 1 half divided by 5 eighths. First, I needed to, de to determine what would be a reasonable answer. I can see that my dividend, 1 half, is less than my divisor. 5 eighths is a little more than half. So I am going to guess that my answer should be less than 1 my quotient will actually be a fraction. The question that I want to answer is, how many 5 eighths are there in 1 half? First, I will show my dividend 1 half by shading half of a rectangle. Then I will make another whole rectangle that's been divided into eighths, and I will shade 5 of these eighths to represent the divisor. This portion right here shows one set of 5 eighths. I can see that it will not fit into 1 half. Only part of it, or a fraction of it, fits. Here it would be tempting to say that 4 eighths is the answer. I can definitely see that 4 eighths is equivalent to a half. But I want to think about how much of this piece, how much of the 5 eighths, fits into 1 half. If I break this whole section into equal pieces, I can see that 4 out of those 5 pieces fits into 1 half. 4 out of 5 can be shown as a fraction, 4 fifths. So I could say that 4 fifths of 5 eighths equals 1 half. This answer makes sense because it's less than 1. Let's try another problem, 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths. I estimate that the answer will be greater than 1 because the dividend 3 fourths is greater than the divisor 5 eighths. Because I'm dividing by a number with lesser value, my quotient should be greater than 1. First, I will show my dividend with three-fourths of the whole rectangle shaded. Then I will shade five out of eight equal pieces below. This amount represents one set of five-eighths. I can see that one entire set of five-eighths fits into three-fourths, but I also see another piece that would fit. In order to determine how much of a remainder I have, I need to look at this piece in its relation to the whole set of five-eighths. When I look at this piece in its relation to this set of 5 eighths, I can see that it's the same size as 1 out of the 5 equal parts. If each of these parts is 1 fifth, then I know that this piece is also 1 fifth. So I could say that 1 and 1 fifth of 5 eighths fits. So 3 fourths divided by 4, I'm sorry, 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths equals 1 and 1 fifth. This answer makes sense because it is more than 1. In this lesson, you have learned how to divide a fraction by a fraction and represent any leftover pieces by thinking about equal groups.